So Review Check USA, this uh, sorry sack of fat crap with his stupid bald head, who friggin' bends over his stupid rubber chicken in his dumb room, which has for some reason a Nicolas Cage friggin' cutout in there. Why do you have another man's cutout in your goddamn room, idiot? You make me friggin' sick. And the rest of these pieces of trash on LOL Cow Live, you got Wings of Redemption. Dude, Wings of Redemption, the only thing you're redeeming is a friggin' fast food coupon to order a next large of fries to stuff down your fat gullet. You are so disgusting, Wings of Redemption. You're supposed to have all this money in AdSense, and you're sitting here in a room full of filth. Do something with your life, lose some goddamn weight, and get a friggin' erection for once in your life, instead of sitting there with friggin' diabetes and your stupid Viagra pills. You got this one guy on the bottom left, Tommy C, this idiot, looks like a friggin' crackhead. We're gonna go over, this guy apparently starts smelling his bottle, he's friggin' fidgeting and all this. You are a fat sack of trash too, sitting here in your stupid little room full of friggin' 181 arcade one-ups. Dude, you're so fat and wide that you fill up both spots on your arcade one-up. Why do you even have that? in the back you have a bunch of sports games and at the top of it you have a bunch of sports jerseys when i can guarantee you every single thing i have you never played a date of sports in your life and it shows because you're a fat gut you're that same fat sack of crap kind of father that sits there on your freaking couch with a keg of beer watching sports of and worshiping other men while you on the other side are a freaking fat lard not being worshipped by your own family. That's you, Tommy Z. You're, no, you're not fooling anyone. And then look in the middle here, the top middle, you got Keemstar, this piece of trash uh, crossing his arms. Uncross your arms, you sack of crap. You're not scaring anybody. You don't fool me at all. You're walking around with a stupid neck beard. Looks like you got a freaking anvil strapped onto your chin it's ridiculous i guarantee you you take off that hat off of keemstar and you take off and you shave that ridiculous neck beard off of keemstar you're gonna see what kind of a twerp this guy's face is he's just a straight up punk all of these guys on the panel are punks but 8-bit eric was there to try to defend himself on lol cow live but instead you four sacks of crap tried to gang up on him and tried to do this crap and i want to go over it first of all let's go over this first clip fallout's what? happy I didn't get to finish my my tail. You're gonna you do this the whole end. time, God. You guys can't even talk, God. Just one guy going at a time, for Christ's sake. Well, I mean, I was in the middle of my story. Oh, and... Shut the <laughs> up and do it. <laughs> well, the first thing you gotta realize is Keemstar, the scumbag, this piece of trash. Okay, on purposely put the bottom guy's Tommy C's mic as the highest one. Why is it that Tommy C's microphone level, the volume level, is the most highest out of everyone? He adds nothing to the conversation at all, except his stupid little comments that aren't even funny. You guys call this drama? It's not drama. If you want real drama, come to my world. Come down here to the pits of hell of YouTube, where every day there's something going on between two people. It's endless entertainment, and you guys watch this stuff, but you guys are such cowards to admit it that you actually watch our drama. You guys have your fake drama on your stupid little lol cow live this is nothing if i was on your panel i would destroy each and every one of you one by one to the point where you would have to mute my mic and then you would have to ban me from your panel because i would take it over and i'd actually freaking prove to the stupid stream viewers that are here thinking this is real no i'll show you what real drama is so this sack of crap at the bottom left here this piece of garbage with a stupid little sports shirt you haven't played sports how is it that you're so fat that the freaking camera cuts off at your man boobs but i can see the freaking top portion curves of your goddamn man boobs you need to go on the scale and lose some weight stop your little stupid keg of beer and your bugles stop watching sunday night football do something with your life you have one eight one arcade one-ups behind you and all that stuff you are not a gamer guarantee you you suck at gaming who in the hell puts jerseys up in their wall to worship other men you have jerseys with other people's names on the back of them and you look up to it and you crank to it and freaking jerk off to it while your wife is getting tyroned and your kids wondering where their father is that's you tommy c you're 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 nobody you just have your mic on full blast because keemstar that scumbag in the middle put your mic on top because he wants you to overpower anyone else on the stupid friggin panel that's why whoever has the loudest mic always wins the conversation no matter how stupid is what they say look at this next clip of this uh crackhead in the bottom left tommy c smelling his stupid bottle like what is this look at this no i'm he's not, not like no. he's done nothing pause one second i did not do that
Dude, what are you doing? Are you fantasizing deep throating one of your sports idols? Do you want friggin' Joel Mantana to come over and bend you over in your stupid little friggin' one eight, one ar arcade one up little man cave that you had going on that probably smells like cheese and piss because you're too fat of an idiot and too piece uh, uh, too garbage to go to the toilet to friggin' relieve yourself? That's what you're doing. You're smelling a bottle on live stream. That's your life. What are you even doing? What does this even mean? This, this is crackhead tendencies. That's what it is. It's crackhead drunk friggin' uh fat lard keg keg party beer gut sitting on his couch his freaking bean bag can't get up can't be bothered to get up and go for a jog because he wants to go home and just watch his sports wow you're such a great person there well, let's worship other men on sports and just look at them let's go to the next clip two seconds but hold guys on. The this, that was this two seconds two seconds guys this beef is so freaking dumb and so <laughs> oh my god it's so weird. It's so weird. I so agree with this, you this, this beef is so, this beef is so hard. It's hilarious. Okay, you don't know what beef is if it slapped you in the face, Keemstar. Okay, you're sitting there in your stupid little cheetah print, friggin' uh, tiger print, uh, zebra print room. Looks like you're about to be bent over by the next guy that comes to your room who's going to be high on friggin' Molly or whatever it is. You got these stupid disco lights going on. You got your dumb little neck beard. I told you. I said it from day one. Same with Gerard the Completionist. Cut off the sh shave the neck beard. Let me see your face for what it really is and then you're not gonna fool anyone people put on neck beards to hide the fact that they're cowards and you can see it in their goddamn face that they're twerps they're weaklings they're this guy thinks he's all almighty because he has a stupid lol cow live this is the first time i watched lol cow live and all i have to say this is not drama you want real drama come to this world you're gonna see what this ain't real life dog this ain't real life well it is real life when someone gets fired from franklin empire because he's making freaking youtube videos from his break room that is real life huh this is where the real drama is and you guys on your LOL cow live have a fake drama you guys have a fake oh let me yeah keemstar is a scumbag he goes around on his because everything's done through discord he controls people's volumes why is it keemstar that 8-bit eric your guest your actual guest 8-bit eric had the lowest mic volume out of everybody and that scumbag in the bottom left tommy c who's probably a failed father that guy had the loudest mic why is that keemstar why don't you give everyone a fair chance and have even mics so basically bottom left had the loudest mic keemstar had the second loudest mic you had review tech usa this fat loser on the top right with the third highest you got wings of redemption we'll get to you in a second wings of redemption you're sitting there like a sorry sack of crap with your hand on your face wondering what happened to your freaking genitalia because you can't even see it when you try to shire yourself with your fat gut hanging out i will get to you in a second he had the freaking third highest mic as well and 8-bit eric the actual guest why you actually made the goddamn freaking video in the first First place has the lowest microphone why is that keemstar yeah i'm calling you out on your bs take off your stupid hat shave your friggin goofy neck beard looks like an anvil and let's see your face for what it really is guys guys okay, guys i can I promise you i can promise you nobody actually cares about the details they care yeah. about the general story of this beef between okay. the two of you. All right, they don't cool. care about, well, you sent me this message on that time. Bro, no one in the chat care. I don't care. No, Wings but, don't but care. Yeah, no. the details actually do matter, Keemstar. They do, because it's the details where you find out who's actually right or wrong in actual beef. Do you Have you not done beef in your life? You have this stupid drama alert freaking uh, garbage channel where you go there and you have this fake stuff. No, no, no. You want to do real drama? Come to this world. You'll see what really goes on. You need the details to actually do drama. Now, Wings of Redemption, let's get to you. You're a piece of fat trash sitting there with your stupid shirt, looks like a serpent on it. Dude, your man boobs are ridiculous. Lose some goddamn weight, you bald-headed prick. You're sitting there with headphones. You're supposed to have a lot of money. You're living in a room of filth. You got things on the ground. What's that in the back of friggin' Braves, uh, uh, Braves jersey, a baseball jersey? Dude, if you put on that Braves jersey, you're gonna look like a bag of onions. Actually, you're gonna look ridiculous. Wings of Redemption, you're not redeeming anything except fast food coupons you're that fat lard that gets stuck to the drive through because you can't wait to freaking stuff your fat face with a mcdonald's order you redeem your freaking fast food coupon and add in a nice loyal hot cliff for hot fudge sundae and a stupid big larger fries that's you wings of redemption you're all a bunch of losers eight bit eric tried to come on here and tell his side of the story keemstar the scumbag puts his microphone at the lowest level you got tommy c on the bottom left sounding like a crackhead smelling some stupid bottle with a dumb one eight one uh, arcade one ups behind him that he never probably plays. He's a fake gamer with jerseys on the ceiling, worshiping other men. Good job, Tommy C. You got review tech USA, some friggin' idiot, some 
piece of trash who rubs a rubber chicken against his beard and cranks it to friggin' male ASMR, and then he got Wings of Redemption, the most pathetic sack of vile human crap I've ever seen in my goddamn life. You guys on the LOL Cow Live don't know anything about drama. Come to my world, come down here where there's real drama, and then each and every one of you would be friggin' decimated right here on the spot. Shut up.